So here we have the LC Magna. The LC Magna is a way in which we can really diversify how we're producing parts additively. It allows us to produce large scale parts with its large build volume at 510 by 280 by 350. But also with that build volume, it allows us to produce multiple small components in a way to compete with mass manufacturing, whether that's injection moulding, CNC, or any other polymer methods that you may use to produce parts for the business. Because of the diversity of the machine, it allows us to implement this into a lot of different industries, whether that be dental, automotive, even into uh, uh, manufacturing parts for existing products, which you've got on the part on the machine behind me. In regards to some of the different applications that we can use this technology for, a lot of that comes down to the resins. There's a wide range of resins in the portfolio. So we have a draft resin for really quick prototyping. And with some of the new advancements that have come into the Magna portfolio, this means we can produce parts in a full build in a matter of five, six, seven hours. We also then go into more industrial grade materials. So we have high quality durable materials, which have a little bit of flexibility. So when we're trying to simulate what will be polypropylene and things like that from a conventional polymer perspective, those work out really well. And we can also push that boundary even further by going into high temp and then producing short run injection molds or even parts that need to resist up to 230 degrees centigrade. All these are possible through the same machine. There's no extra ancillaries that you require. It just has to go through the same process. That process in producing parts goes from our standard design stage into our slicing software where we add supports and orientate correctly. From that, we then run a print, in which cases that's what we have on the machine behind us. And then we also take that then from a wash into a cure. And by the time it comes out of the cure stage, all we need to do is support removal and then any extra post processing, whether that be secondary finishing in terms of spraying or blasting and anything like that. But those parts after the cure stage are final and ready for the applications. One of the other applications that the LC Magna really finds its home is when it's comparing itself to injection molding. So during the pandemic, there was a PPE shortage, so Photocentric saw that as a mission to try and help alleviate the pressures of that. At the same time as starting the prints on the LC Magna, they also sent off a mold tool to be produced. And the whole idea with this was to compete and see who could get 100,000 parts to market faster. So within that said, the LC Magna produced 100,000 parts and shipped those out to the customer within 10 days. From the injection mold tool, having, get, having to get that produced and then put onto the injection molding machine and then get those parts processed. It was then over 156 days. Obviously then we have to produce enough parts to make the injection mold tool worthwhile. So up to a quarter of a million parts, the LC Magna actually came out on top in terms of part production speed and also part, uh, price per part. Because of the diversity of the LC Magna, and if this is something that you are looking to get into and implement into your business, whether that's be from a large scale manufacturing perspective or looking into mass production, then reach out to the team at 3D GBRE and we'd be more than happy to help you find out what applications we can use the LC Magnet for.